In order to start any version of DAS Element, you need a running license server with valid licenses. This video shows you how to set up the RLM license server. Go to the website and log in with your account. In the download section, you will find the RLM license server. You can download it for Windows or Linux. Go to your download folder and extract the downloaded file. You can put the folder anywhere you like on the license server. The location for this is not important. For Windows, you should see the get host info batch file inside the folder. Running this file will get you the host ID and the host name for your computer or license server. Send both the host ID and host name back to the support mail of DAS Element. We will generate a license file, which you will receive by mail. Once you receive the license file, make sure to copy and paste it in the same folder. You now should see two files from DAS Element. One is the .lick license file and the other one is a .set file. The .set file should have been already in there. Is a specific settings file, which the license server needs in order to validate the license file from DAS Element. If you are using an existing RLM license server from a different software, you can easily get the .set file from the download page from the website. You can now run the RLM executable file, which will start the license server for you. To verify that everything is running correctly, go to your web browser and visit localhost colon 5054. You should see this page which is the RLM browser-based administration tool. You can also visit this page from any other computer on your network. You only need to change the URL to your license server name, colon 5054. Go to status. You should see DAS element. If you go to server status for DAS element, you can see all available licenses. In order to connect your client workstation to the license server, you need to add a new environment variable. This should be named DAS element underscore license. And the value will be 5053 at my computer or whatever the name of the license server is for you. And now you will be able to start the software.